Just in a string of catalytic converter thefts has impacted one of our area's most valuable resources. ABC Bus Services in Rochester transports disabled community members to and from work. ABC 6 News reporter Emily Pofall is live outside of ABC right now with details on the theft. Emily, Emily, how much was stolen? James, Laura, someone snuck in here on Sunday and took four catalytic converters off of four ABC buses, leaving some workers with disabilities unable to get to work. It's easy to just, you know, just make the two cuts. So easy that the thief who took four catalytic converters from ABC bus services did so in minutes. We discovered it by starting up the buses. Buses that weren't drivable, leaving 40 people without a way to get to work. We had to reroute all 40 of those individuals served and then it affects schedules, it affects programming. ABC stands for Ability Building Community. The nonprofit connects people with disabilities to jobs in the community. Some work at local gas stations and some provide cleaning services. The bus breakdown caused many to miss those jobs. That is how individuals with disabilities get to and from our building and to and from their work sites. Carol has worked with ABC for 45 years. She uses the buses for work and for play. Sometimes I'll go for a walk. And sometimes I go to a Minnesota Twins game. Transporting hard workers like Carol will be a challenge for ABC in the coming months. Only two of their four affected buses are drivable again. The other two still wait on catalytic converters delayed from supply chain issues. And it's not a cheap fix. Inside they do have precious metals to do their pollution control function. Uh, platinum being the main one. If you have a catalytic converter cut out, we do have to put one back in. Tim Schmidt at Schmidt Auto says stolen converters go for $50 to $200. To replace them, though, is $500 to $2,000. Really, the people that they're affecting the most are the individuals with disabilities. ABC gave security footage of the incident to the Rochester Police Department, but they're also asking anyone who has any knowledge of what happened to go to the department as well. James, Laura.